Well, it's not about one thing, that's for sure. It's about, it's about together, I suppose, of different types of artist-led activity in a very buoyant atmosphere of a city kind of you know, growing a bit. So suddenly we've got a project where we're doubling the infrastructure for contemporary art in one area of the city, which already has got twice the amount, or three times the amount of contemporary art that the city's ever had before. So it's, in some way it's like um, staking a claim for the role of, uh, of, of creative practitioners in the development of this city, you know, in, in an and ambition for the city in a way. So we're saying it's not about, not just about buildings and, um, and new train lines or whatever, but it, it, it's about those plus the people and the texture of the city that's built up through our ideas. You know, we're members of the public who are artists and are giving back new ideas. Because Digbeth especially has got such a great reputation for being that kind of artist. And people who aren't artists know the yeah. area for that reason. They know that things like a custom factory are quite, you know, it's, it's almost become a focal point for, for the non yeah. arty types. That, you know, yeah. they, they know there's something going on there. They might not know what it is, but they know there's something happening. Yeah, there's enough going on. As it becomes a hub, so you get media companies coming in and you get one gallery moving in and then another one building up and other developers and people see that there may be opportunities for them to benefit from it, the council sees a cultural quarter being able to be developed and so it makes sense then for artists to come together and there's, so with, with a space like Grand, Grand Union just opening you've got the benefit of new studios, a new, pr a new production space, a gallery, you've got young curators and artists working together and then if they, they can link up with us here at Eastside Projects as a, an artist run space as a public gallery and then linking up with other quite you know, unusual events that you it, it, you don't you, you won't come across anywhere else in the city or in the region or in the country. You know, there's quite unique things going on here. So, it's a, there's a lot of collaboration and groups groups within groups and ideas building up. You know, it's there's it's a little um, e ecology that I think can get a lot bigger and can impact on the city in, in, in many interesting ways, I suppose. And I guess this weekend is, is almost like a showcase for all that and it shows exactly how, mm. how sort of I, varied... I yeah, think if, be... if you walked around all the spaces last night and you saw the amount of attention that's been given, the support and sponsorship from different companies to make the evening a success and then the input from people who have got people flying in from Berlin to present new new projects, new artworks. We've got theatre groups performing. We've got things like Morris dancers going on. We've got live gigs that are very kind of in, innovative in use of of technology and ideas of performance and how to involve people in the making of art. You know, this it's, it's a very dense thing. And with this idea that it is an event, it, it is all one one thing occurring, and you can. You can, the, the further you look into it, the more it's going to unravel, you know, show you all this, this complex activity that, that's going on here. And I guess that also goes quite quite a, a way to promote contemporary art to people who aren't art types, you know, because yeah, there, is, there is sometimes a, a, if you're like, well, I don't understand that, so I'm not going to go, whereas actually when you bring music into it and, you know, visuals yeah. and p people will kind of wander, wander past and go, I think on that's it, that, you know, if it, uh, our job as the event is probably to to not reflect what a complex society is doing but to but to make parallels to it so there's going to be bits of what we're doing that if you're a, if you're coming in to find out about contemporary art for the first time you're going to have a hard time with it because we make complex stuff we make stuff that, that's really demanding but the the range of stuff that is available in the festival like the event means that you will find things that you can understand you can interpret and that is it's a step by step thing you know um, art's one of the most sophisticated things that that man does. <laughs> it's not like it's not like the dumbest thing. It is the most sophisticated thing that we do. So it, you have to, you know, it benefits society because it's so sophisticated, and it means that it's hard work. So what's been the highlight so far for you this weekend? It's been quite a busy weekend. <laughs> well, a I suppose that, yeah, that's pretty, I, I um, loved Stan's. Stan's calf, uh, put their performance on the, the rooftop of our tunnel in the space because they were able to sort of mock the art world and love the art world at the same time. You know, it was just such a, a passionate um, and involved idea of them commentating on art and life and just things that are going on and being fascinated by it, you know, find, finding pleasure in it. So I, uh, my hat's off to Stan's calf. There's one day, so a full day of activity tomorrow as well. There's still more, yeah. There's all sorts of things going on. There's like families doing. I'm not sure what the family's up to tomorrow, but they'll be doing something somewhere or other. It's uh, it's probably yeah. It's like a, 
uh, an even weirder version of Big Brother or something like that maybe. So there's all sorts of things going on for you. I think the head scratching going on, but it sounds good. Yeah.